Hello, I'm FRH Racers and welcome to the next instalment of my track guide series. This time we're at Sebring, a track with both fast and slow corners where the ability to get a good exit always equates to a good lap time. Today I'll be driving a stock McLaren P1, an absolute beast of a machine. It has so much power that even with its aerodynamic technology, it's always on the edge of grip when you get the car up to racing speeds. However, if you can connect a lap together without spinning off, it will give a monumentally good time. Anyway, let's go for a hot lap and I'll talk you through what you see. As we begin the lap, make sure you get a good exit out of the final corner as we need to carry as much speed as possible into turn 1. As we'll see later on in the video though, this corner requires skill to do correctly as it is the most difficult corner in the game. As we power across the line, get to the outside of the track and prepare to commit to turn 1. Pick an early braking point and nail your turn in point so that you can get as close to the inside wall as possible. Then get on the power as early as you can. If you hit the outside curb naturally, you got on the throttle at exactly the right time. Now for the next braking zone. Break early and make sure you hit the inside curb, then get on the power as early as possible for the quickest run into the next left onto the straight. Get to the outside on entry and try to late apex the corner. Be careful on the throttle as you don't want to unsettle the car, but you need to be as committed as possible to get the best run possible out of the corner. Now you can power up the straight and concentrate on the next very tight right hander, another one of the most difficult corners on the game. Brake as hard as you can, but try to avoid locking up where possible. I engine brake a huge amount in this McLaren in order to slow it down, so try it out in the car that you're driving too. Also, you need to get close to the inside curb here, but don't touch it as it will severely unsettle the car. On exit, you need to get on the power as early as you can once again. Aim for the exit curb as this will mean that you can get the car straightened up as early as possible. Now, be as smooth as you can on the steering in order to scrub off as little speed as you can as you head up to the next corner. For this, pick a braking point that allows your car to be able to turn in tight onto the apex. Then you'll be able to open up the throttle again in order to get the exit. This McLaren was surprisingly understeery and lost a lot of traction at the same time through here, hence why I played around with the gears a bit in order to try and increase my grip levels. Now get ready to brake early and hit the inside kerb once again. Be careful though, as the outside kerb here is definitely the most dangerous on the game. Once again, floor it on exit and enjoy your good run out of this corner as we approach a difficult set of corners in this McLaren. Keep it pinned in the first part and get two wheels on the kerb for the shortest line. Then keep to your inside line and brake early enough so that you can hit the next kerb on the inside. My McLaren actually understood a lot more than I expected through here, but the power I had available meant that I could make up time from this mistake anyway. Get the best exit you can and prepare to get onto the outside for a good run onto the final long straight. Once you're on the outside, try to lay a apex the next right and get on the power again as early as you can. The kerb on the outside is actually very forgiving so feel free to use it if you need to. Only one corner to go, however as I said earlier it's the hardest corner on the game. It requires a lot of practice to do it correctly and all drivers have different techniques on how to do it. Pick a braking point that will take you to the outside of the white lines naturally and this will put you in the best position to get a good exit out of the corner. Also, make sure you're always turning through here as otherwise you will simply go straight on or miss your apex massively. Also, look at how I use the throttle and the brake at the same time in order to straighten the car through the corner. To be honest, it's completely instinctive now, but it stops the car from losing traction as it goes through this long corner. Once you get the exit, you have now finally completed a very successful very quick lap of Sebring. Thank you very much for watching my latest track guide, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out the playlist for all the other tracks currently available, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below so you can check out all the other tracks I've been doing and hopefully I can help you out on those as well. Uh, and if you did enjoy please leave a like rating as it helps me out a lot more than people sometimes realise uh, and also it makes me know well, it informs me if, if you guys actually like to watch watch this kind of stuff but other than that um, yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time cheers